birth of the Lord Jesus was foretold many years before it happened. Through the Old Testament prophet Micah, it was told that the Messiah would be born in Bethlehem. Micah 5, 2 says, But you, O Bethlehem, are only a small village in Judah. Yet a ruler of Israel will come from you, one whose origins are from the distant past. So it was no accident that Mary and Joseph were in Bethlehem when Jesus was born. God knew that around the year 6 BC, the leader of the Roman Empire would decree that a census would be taken of all the people in his domain. Joseph and Mary had to journey about 65 miles to register in the town of Joseph's ancestor, David. It reads in Luke 2, 4 to 7 like this. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for him." When we think about Jesus being born, we often imagine this hallmark moment, you know, this picture-perfect setting like on a Christmas card. But I'm not so sure it was like that. I mean, first, giving birth to a baby is not an easy thing to do, trust me. And to deliver in a barn after several days of travel, yikes. I mean, Mary laid him in a manger of all places, which is really a nice word for an animal feeding trough. I can't imagine with all our sterile hospital environments to lay my newborn where animals had slobbered. I wonder if Mary and Joseph were acutely aware that they were part of fulfilling ancient prophecy. Isn't it interesting that even though this was God's predetermined way of coming to earth and that it wasn't without that it wasn't actually without its challenges God himself taking on human flesh to become one of us in order to bring us back into relationship with him and it involves pain and suffering and uncomfortable surroundings and long journeys and sacrifice you know christmas reminds us that our life here on earth is not all about us in fact, we're invited to join God in seeing his will be done in our time. Are we willing? Mary and Joseph show us a willing spirit to do whatever God asked of them. And this Christmas, well, let's lay down some of our need for comfort and to be actually fully willing and ready to participate in what God is doing, no matter how far it stretches us. It might just be our best Christmas ever.